Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Donnie, and today's video will be solving for x. The first step is required is we have to apply the tetration rule. And basically, the tetration rule here states that x is raised to the power of itself n times. So basically, when we apply inside the equation over here, it basically means x is raised to x again. So basically, this is the equivalent statement. And now, over here, we have to apply the Lambert W function. And the reason why we have to apply a Lambert W function is because this portion over here has an exponent and a base that's, uh, that are the unknowns. Basically, the unknowns are x in this scenario. So that's why we have to apply a Lambert W function. And note that the Lambert W function we have to get inside this format where y over here is represented by some number. It could be anything. It could be x. But it must be the same on the top and it must have an e. Okay? Once we get inside this format, then we can apply a Lambert W and it simplifies to only have a singular Y, which could be anything, and we get this W. The W, could be th you could think of it as of a log or a lon, okay? And we'll be discussing the branch number later on in the video. So for right now, just understand we have to get into this format over here, okay? So basically, we're going to try to get in this format. So we apply lon on both sides. So we drop this X over here. Then we apply this rule. This rule is a little trick where we could get an E from it, right? So we're going to apply it over here. And now this looks very familiar. It looks like this, right? So we can apply a Lambert W function. So we apply a Lambert W on both sides. It's going to get simplified to which is a singular Y, which is our lot X in this scenario. And now we have a W. Now we could rearrange it. So we're, we're going to raise E on both sides. This goes away. And that's our, our equation for Lambert W. And now we're going to move on to the graph. This is our equation. And over here, ln 36 is really 3.5835. And now we're going to explain the Lambert W function's graph. So branch W0 is this branch, is this curve over here, this orange curve, okay? Now, branch negative 1 is this green line over here, okay? It goes all the way to the bottom. It's this line over here. Now, our value is this pink line over here, which is 3.5835. And the ascent of this blue line is over here. So it's basically this. Now, from this, there's three cases that we have. So the first case is our value bigger than zero. In our scenario, yes, it is. So basically, we have one real solution. It is this solution over here, this point. Okay. Now, case two, let's say if it was a case two, it would have to be between zero and negative negative. Uh, 1 divided by e, which is basically this blue line and the 0. Now, case 3 is only if case 1 and case 2 are not satisfied, we only get complex solutions, okay? So in our scenario, it's only case 1 that exists. So now we apply e to the w of 0. Now we solve for it, which is basically this number over here. And we raise it by e, and we get an answer of this. And that's our answer to this question. For practice, solve for x for this uh, function over here. Uh, you need to apply a uh, Lambert W function to solve for it. And please post your answer and solution in the comment section below. Please leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, great day.